first and foremost, I like to say, call a lot. I bash him here, shy. To be honest, the pastors and elders of Great Eastone. Salutations to the brothers in the highways and byways. In in striking sincerity and in truth. So, I just like to, this is the brother here, higher from the Kingston, Jamaica camp. I just like to do a small little bit on, on suffering. Suffering in righteousness. For Yahweh Bashem Yashem. Alright? First, let's look up the meaning of what suffering is. So, now this is from the Merriam Webster dictionary. It say suffer. To experience pain, illness, or injury, to experience something unpleasant, such as defeat, loss, or damage, to come worse because of being badly affected by something, to submit to, or to be forced to endure. So yeah, and so basically, you can say your oh, word suffer means to endure. You get me? And word endure. Basically means to undergo as a hardship, especially without giving in. That's perfect, man. Undergo a hardship, especially without giving in. There's a lot of things that we have to endure within this truth, man. Right? We have to endure laziness. We cannot give in to laziness. We have to endure depression. Right? There are certain things that cause his brother to be depressed. Depressed in the spirit, feeling down. But we have to, we, have, we, have, we can't give in to it. We have to endure a job. Right? We have to endure certain things that we don't like, man. But we can't give in to it. Um, in regards to your mind, you're making your mind give in to it. Man. Right? And there are means where we can help you to overcome it and able not to give in to it man. and we are show you through the spirit of your Abba and Shai how you do that alright so let us grab the first precept so this is 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 it says blessed be God even the father of our Lord Yahushai the father of mercies and the God of all comfort alright the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. So, it's true. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that we're going to endure His present suffering as the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Basically, comfort us. Zin, give us a, a comforting spirit to endure tribulation. Zin, are to glory in tribulation as Paul would say man. right because the word comfort the word comfort means means to be instructed Zin, it means to, to to exhort means exhortation right it means entreatment so it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai we can get instructions to maneuver the present Difficulties are afflictions we are going through. You get me? Verse 4 it says, Who comforted us in all our tribulation? So, he in, instruct us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. So, over time, we're going basically perfect. The instructions where the most I give us through the Spirit. We, the brothers, are in the truth already, so that we can be able to comfort the the upcoming brothers. Them, where where we just have come up, and we're about to come. Zin, because these are the times of asking. Zin, we're going to see an influx of brothers, so we have to have that spiritual understanding down to the T, where we going to be able to comfort them in the Spirit. Man. So that we can basically lighten their afflictions or lighten their, their, the mentality towards suffering. You understand? Enable them to endure. Because this, this, this race wasn't meant to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Zin, it wasn't meant to be easy. But it, they never meant to give in either. You see me? 
It never meant to say, oh, whoa, we, we are suffering. No. Nope. Meant to say, oh, look here. We have to go through this with all power within your Bashem, your Shai. You get me? By the comforting wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Verse 5 For as the sufferings of your Shai abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by our Shai. So through your Shai, our consolation abound. Because we are going to suffer the same thing our Shai suffer. You understand? That's why the scripture and I think a look tell us say your Shai suffered many things. So we are going to suffer many things likewise. You see, we are going to endure many things likewise. If we abound in our Shai, that's the only way we are going to overcome. Alright? It says, verse 6, and it says, Whether we be afflicted, the word afflicted means pressed on or compressed, it is for your consolation and salvation. So, affliction is a means to get salvation if you overcome, if you suffer in righteousness, meaning that you, you, you do, you, you um, possess within your character the ingredients worthy overcome this present time and we are going to show you um, through the spirit of your Abba Shemir Shai how you do that man Zin, that's why the scripture says you're supposed to be like minded as, um, as your Shai which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer or whether we be comforted it is for your consolation and, and salvation so true the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashai, you're going to get consolation and salvation. You see me? So now, this is uh, this, uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 14. It says, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, look to overcome this world, right? They look to get, get through. The present sufferation, right? Be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. So, and being diligent, men, is not an easy task because it's something you have to continue work on daily. That's why the scripture say, examine yourself whether ye be of the faith. Zin, every day you have to do a, a, a proper examination of yourself, man. seeing what are the, 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 the attributes. You have is is of the spirit of, of the Lord. Zin. Verse 15, and they say, Account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also accounting to the wisdom given unto him had written unto you. Alright? The word long suffering, let me get that. But it so now the scripture said to account, let us see what the word account means. It said to lead, to be before, to consider, deem, account, think. So, account, think upon the long suffering. The word long suffering. Patience, endurance, constancy, steadfastness, perseverance. So, think upon the patience, endurance, constancy, steadfastness, and perseverance of your shy. Zin. Of our Lord is salvation. So we are supposed to ascribe ourselves to these attributes. See, because within them is our salvation. But you have to ascribe to these attributes in righteousness. Meaning that you have to see the words of the Lord to be instructed. As um as it says in a in a in a wisdom of Solomon chapter six, man. See, you have, to, you have to desire the word of the Lord. Desi um, set your affections upon the word of the Lord and in them you shall be instructed. That's the way it's said. Right? So, the means of overcoming this present timing is to draw for closer and closer to the Lord. Zin, for certain example, you have to get up for our work in the morning. You have to trust in the spirit of the most high and the spirit of laziness. I'm tired down in the bed. You see me? You want some some cash. You have to trust in the spirit of the most high 
way to be escalate, give you a means to get some cash, man, in a every single way, man. That's why the scripture says, In all thy way, and acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. See, not because you understand to a level, say, yo, this world is coming to an end, means, say, yo, you're supposed to basically suffer, basically suffer things without a cause, man. Right? Basically suffer things without a cause, because if it's that, if it's that, you're not getting up and trying to do something productive for your day. And then that results into you not eating for the day. That means you have, you have, you have fast for righteousness so you can to try to attain the spirit of the most high unto you. It means you are fast because you're lazy, man. You see? You suffer, you suffer, you suffer in wickedness. You see? Because of your own self affliction. We can't do no better. You get me? Because you're lazy, that happened to you. You get me? So, if you adhere to the spirit of the Most High and, and see the wisdom of, of your Abba Hashem Yashai, right? You gotta get up, you gotta go to work, and whatever case may be, you endure that shit, man. You endure that shit in a righteousness. You see me? The scripture says, whatever thou puttest thy hand to do it with all thy might. No means to be lazy. It no means to, to roll over and say, woe is me. Because, uh, um, because you know, say, uh, Hebrew is alright. No means you're not supposed to go out there and try to do good unto yourself, man. Alright? Try to endure this life. You get me? Let's get another precept. Yeah. It's a second Timothy chapter three verse chapter two verse three it's like it. It said thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of your shy. No man that warred entangling himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. So you have to have a soldier mindset, man. You have to mortify your spirit. Zin, mortify your flesh. Zin, have a lot of discipline within yourself. You get me? You know, do this, do this thing, do this, do, do certain things in this world for, for carnal glory, but you do it for survive. You see, man, the fact that you can, you can go out and make a living, you do it for survive, man. Not that you're doing it for carnal glory, but you have to endure that. You have to endure that. You see? Because the kingdom is soon coming. And the scripture tells you, it says, verse 5, it says, and if any man also strive for masteries, strive for masteries in whatever case there is. You have to strive for masteries in, in, in the scriptures. You have to strive for masteries in the skills that you have in this world to make you survive, so to speak. Zin, yet he is not crowned. You're not going to get the, 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 the crown in a righteousness except he strive lawfully, which means for strive in our wisdom, because apart. The scripture tells us that the law is thy wisdom. The law of Yahweh Shem is thy wisdom. So you're not going to obtain the glorious crown that is in Yahweh Shai. Right? And accept your strive lawfully. It means that every, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Again, man. And that's how you endure. You have to endure through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yashai. You see? Whatever you are being forced upon with, within this world, you have to make the spirit, exercise the spirit against it. Understand? Uh, I hope this lesson was edifying. With that, Shalom.